Hey everybody, welcome back to the carriage play of Suicoden. We uh, did a little bit of fighting off screen, not a ton obviously, we still have to fight these stupid fish people. Yeah, I mean, it's funny I'm looking at them now, but as a kid I just, I thought they were robots. What? what? <laughs> really? I don't know, like, for some reason I just thought they like have a very mechanical, I mean, but looking at them now, yeah, they're clearly organic fish people. Well, what's scary to me is that you the, you went through a part of your life just thinking that Suicoden had robot fish monsters, which makes even less sense in the context of this castle. You know, I don't know. There are some weird enemies. <laughs> I mean, the snails make sense. I think the ghost armor yeah, kind of makes that sense. Makes sense? Yeah. Like it's ghosts of forgotten civilization kind of thing? Sindar stuff? Yeah. The Sindar really loved pointy nipple armor. I mean that's that's why they went extinct. You know, they just, just kept poking each other in the eyes. And yep, that's how it. That's hey, I can let these guys go now. Oh yeah, that's that uh, thing where if the enemies in the front are weak, you can uh, let them go. Oh, even if the the battle itself is tough. Cool. Like it, like the enemy in the back can't get to you. Yeah, I think that is the case. Uh. Cyclone. No, just clone. <laughs> it's kind of... Is this the first time in this game that we've had a full party? Oh, shoot. You you are correct, sir. Uh, because, yeah, not even when we had, were with Ted and uh, Pawn did we have the full six. Mm-hmm. It's kind of... Um, you know, it's it's like also like getting like Taiho and Camille. I think it's like the first time where it's like, hey, you know, not all of the characters that you're gonna recruit are gonna have as much like character, like connection to you as like Victor and Gremio and Cleo. Yeah. Like, I mean, granted, that like a lot of RPGs have just like weird little kind of characters who have very low motivation for for being with you. Yeah. I mean, but I think they don't need to have, they don't need to be your best friend to be part of an army, you know? No, yeah, and Suicone, it's, I think, makes more sense than, like, you know, in, like, a Tales of, and just, like, some random character just joins you for some reason. Yeah, just because, oh, like, this character, like, this very clearly designed to be, like, a fan favorite or something, mm -hmm. you know, but their motivations are flimsy. Yes, Victor. I love these sprites. Uh, this game, uh, I can't remember. I was probably the next year um, after this came out, uh, Breath of Fire 3. Also a very, very cool um, PlayStation 1 RPG with a similar aesthetic. Mm hmm You know, the... I guess the Breath of Fire Three had three D environments. I think you bottom bottom right. Oh. Oh, I see. I see. Yes. You know, it is kind of just impressive how, like, they just nailed a lot of things. Like, just the like, the sprite animations and just how many character sprites there are. Like, in battle, even. Like, I just wonder if that felt like just this um, massive amount of work. Because I, it doesn't seem like it was probably a too big of a team working on no, this. No, no. Like, I think it's, you know, Yoshitaka Murayama, Junko Kawano, and uh, um, the Mi Miki Higashino. Like, you know, yeah, I and you can see it in the credits. It's just a handful of people. I mean, which I think... You know, it's in the this is in the PlayStation One era is when you started getting much bigger teams for games like Final Fantasy Seven and Metal Gear. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, teams started getting big, but this is like you know what 1995 in Japan. You know, this is like 
Coming right the, off the SNES. Yeah, and the, yeah, the SNES is still, or Super Famicom is it's still going strong. And it's most of those games, you know, even Final Fantasy VI was made with just a handful of people. You know, where, uh, you know, everybody on the team has to wear a couple different hats. Mm hmm. I just wish that we could let these guys go. They're just disturbing. Let it go, let it go. The nipple armor never bothered me anyway. <laughs> well, that's because it's so cold in here and <laughs> frozen. It's... Oh. Um. Hey, there we go. Wind crystal. Speaking of frozen, um. Uh, one of one of like the teachers I was working with in the middle school was talking to one of the students, and he goes, "Do you think I get to that?" From the top or the right? I'm actually not sure. Um, this is oh. like some Crowley stuff right now. <laughs> uh, and he's talking to like one of the students, and he yeah. says, "Oh, it, oh, sweet. Eat. Okay, boop, boop. I, I bet there is like some hidden pathway in there. Are you sure?" What the hell? <laughs> uh, huh. I bet that is the way down in in there. You think so? Can, can you go right? Maybe it's... Oh. Oh. Nothing? We're making some progress. Wait. Oh, <sighs> uh, teacher. Yeah, so what, uh, like one of the girls likes unicorns, I guess. One and of the, one of the teachers likes unicorns. No, like one of the students. Oh, gotcha. And uh, and so the teacher goes, "Oh, you excited for Frozen too?" And the girl goes, "No." And he goes, "Oh, well, I, for some reason, I just, I guess, I just thought that you would be like you. you it just seemed like someone who would like unicorns would be excited for Frozen too." And she goes, "No, like I'm not right." And he's like, "I don't know, like." It's just like a movie about like girls squirting ice out of their hands. <laughs> <laughs> okay, squirting sounds like an inappropriate thing to say <laughs> at an elementary school, middle school, middle school. It's the eighth grade. <laughs> <laughs> just squirting ice out of your hands. That's that's the subtitle. Frozen two, ice squirters. <laughs> oh, there oh. we are. Hazy crystal. Oh, I think that just makes you harder to hit if it's equipped. Hit it and equip it. <laughs> Man, I really wish that I did not have to fight these guys. So, like, let's look at these fish dudes. I think uh, the newer Suicodons, you could probably recruit one of these fish dudes. <laughs> because they, you're kind of dislodging their whole civilization out of this castle. Well, yeah. You know, they, they'd made peace with the nipply armor guys and the... And the snails. And the snails. Well, I guess you never see the fish people and the snails together, but... Oh, maybe the fish people and the snails are enemies. Well, the ghost armors are like the... They're friends with all of them. Oh. You know, so they're trying to form an allegiance between all of them to fight up, fight against the humans. Yeah, and yeah, I mean, we could write a fan fiction just about the fish people, and uh, it's they... been done. You know, like the rule that say like anything you could ever possibly think of, it's already been done on the internet. This might be so specific, it might not exist. No, it's been done. Castle Torin. Cool. Yeah. Hmm. So now we're going downstairs when we were at like water levels, or like we below the water now? No. Uh, yeah. I, I, I know where this is. No, we are, we are above. So yeah, we're so. How did we get up, though? I don't know. Like it just slowly, gradually winding up. You know that that pathway. I don't know. It can make sense. 
It makes sense. Don't question it. Because this is the entryway here. Looks like this one's the boss. Bruce Big Springsteen? boss. Bruce Springsteen sucks. <laughs> <laughs> this the zombie dragon. I kind of feel bad for him. Like he, he, he looks, looks like, cool. Yeah, he looks like he's you know had a rough life. He looks like a solid ten out of ten bro. Uh, is it even worth using the clone rune because yeah. you get knocked down? Oh, and you, but he'll. I mean, he'll get up again. <laughs> he's a is it worth Chumba it? Wumba. Um, Victor gets knocked down. He can use he can use healing items though when he's knocked down. I I guess. Firestorm. Might as well, right? Yep. Go all out. Yes, burn. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, burn. you think that hurt? <laughs> Oh, you killed all my friends, the fish people! <laughs> I do kind of wish, I mean, it would be, like, really kind of overpowered, obviously, but I do wish that you could use any of- Ooh, uh, Gremio's actually pretty hurt, too. Um... Use like the instant kill magic on bosses on bosses the way that Ted did. Yeah, <laughs> exactly Um, Yeah, I mean I just feel like Every like I, I appreciate it when games are like everything. Uh oh Oof that sucks like, I appreciate it when games go, like, everything that applies in just every other battle will apply with bosses. Like, boss, there's no exceptions. No, I, I love that kind of crap. Um, it was one of the things that I liked a lot about um, Divinity Original Sin 2. That these like, big boss battles that you're, you're all of the same rules still apply. You know, so this poison gas that, like, you know kills kills them just like anybody else mm -hmm. you just need to like you know before the battle make sure that you've brought a bunch of barrels of poison gas and then <laughs> distribute them around the battlefield before the battle starts and this is actually a pretty tough battle huh yeah maybe no I'm looking at the the dragon's morphology now. There's something up with his front legs. That they're really like backwards. Be well, yeah, they're like just essentially carbon copies of his back legs. Like, what animal has that <laughs> sort of like <laughs> like physio physiology or like the yeah? This is bone a bone structure. This what? is sad. It's deformed. Oh. I mean, it doesn't make the dragon any less endearing. It just. Uh, This is brutal. Brutal. Hmm. Now Cleo needs healed. Yeah, it'd be funny if you get wiped right now. Get my butt wiped. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the his... easy dummy on <laughs> Let's see, is this, uh, like, in Sukon, when you died, is it, like, straight up game over? You yep. load your old save? You are game over, I guess. It's not a, uh, Dragon Quest. I, I love it when it's like a drag quest system or you know like more relatable for the youngins would be like Dark Souls Dark Souls. Yeah No, yeah, I'm Like game over screen seems so antiquated. Mm-hmm For sure I have to like focus up right now Kill it Cleo in this Whew. Man, that area or that group attack is so devastating. Yeah, I wish we had Gremio still up here so that uh, he could use one of his kindness drops. Yeah. 
<sighs> okay. I'm like almost ready just to like have everybody attack, but. Um, Camille's pretty low. Like a cyclone. Okay. Oh, your gut just made a. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was just the sound of a critical hit. <laughs> in my intestines. <laughs> Double damage. <laughs> yeah, I've had a like lifetime of uh, in intestinal distress. <laughs> it was always embarrassing as a kid being like sitting yeah. in class. And I then, know. like, it just audibly, and, and then people are looking around. And, like, the, and so then you have to look around, too, like, I don't know. Yeah, what's going on? I'm... Whose gut's rumbling like that? Embarrassing. Yeah. That's what you get for acting big even after you're dead. It's just a dragon, Camille. Settle down. I, don't, I thought that was kind of a clever thing she said. Look, I died. <laughs> the fog. Looks like this one was the one creating the fog. There, now the castle's ours. How about giving it a name? This seems too quick to me. Yeah. I think Suicoden 2 and afterwards, they would like... They like would get everybody measured. back here get Ma and like have Matthew be the one that's like, you know, Gary. You need to come up with a name for the <laughs> castle. If in if it, Imperial Empire ever it to respect you. You know, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Good idea. What about Dragon Castle? How about White Castle? <laughs> <laughs> Harold and Kumar come here. <laughs> Stupid. We should definitely call it Kerry Castle. What name do you like, young master? I like that Cleo's the only one that's like, hey, you know, like, what do you think? Cleo Castle. <laughs> Cleo. Baby Castle. Yeah, Baby Castle. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> do we want to have Pee Pee for the whole game? <laughs> you know, I do. <laughs> baby. Add back to Baby Castle. Um, I don't know. What We took forever to decide on the castle name in Su Suicoden 2. Um... Looking around, looking around. I like that there's the PlayStation buttons. We could just go Torin Castle, which is no, just a, the cannon. No, dork. No cannon names. Okay. Uh, Carriage Castle. I Do we have enough characters? Uh, What about Way Castle? Way. Way. I'm fine with PP. Yeah, PP. PP. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna go for another cat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to the left. To the left, to the left. Pepe. Pepe Castle. For people who don't know and are going, that's Pepe. No, it's not. It's Pepe. <laughs> go watch Dragon Warrior 7 playthrough. Pepe. Okay. Yep. Pepe Castle. Very nice. Let's go with that name. Very slick at Gremio. It's in honor of Pee Pee and Linda. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Congratulations, Commander Carey. Let's designate this day the new Liberation Army's founding day. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? Just wow, movement. you just like, you yeah. like skipped up there. <laughs> Great idea. Let's have a banquet tonight. Hey, what about my money? Don't be a bore, young lady. You'll, uh, we, we'll think about that later. It's been a long time, Carrie. You have finally chosen your own path. I have brought you some gifts. One of them is this. Please accept it. Yeah, like not. So was she watching the whole time? Oh, yeah. This is the stone tablet of promise. She sees you when you're sleeping. She knows when you're awake. Oh, remember that creepy scene in uh, Suicoden 4 
how you are sleeping in your room and she's like watching you sleep. <laughs> your true power comes from colleagues with whom you share your ideals. So go and find fellow soldiers in arms. The names of your new friends will be carved into the tablet. The other gift is... <laughs> Been a while, eh? Remember me? I guess I was doing like a... More of an Irish. Been a while, eh? Remember me. I'm Luck, Lady Lecknot's number one apprentice. His power should be of use to the Liberation Army. Gary, history has only just begun to move. Keep your spirits high. Let us meet again someday. <laughs> I'm out! <laughs> Howdy! Uh, and so, I'll be joining you. Hope you don't mind. Thank you. Also, you're a poser if you have luck in your party, sorry. <laughs> I'm absolutely sure that Lady Lecknot just got rid of a troublesome burden. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Commander Carey, the v the vessel, <laughs> the vessel is <laughs> now uh, in our possession. Uh, the soul vessel? No, it's the uh, the nuclear vessel. <laughs> I don't know if oh, you've probably never seen Star Trek Four. Of course not. Okay, now it is time to find some recruits. In other words, recruit fellow comrades in arms. Yeah, that's comrades. not your idea, Matthew. Like, not literally just told me to do that. So no, it was my up. idea. I swear, it was my idea. But bro, I was talking. Bro, you need to back up. I was up talking right to like not before. Get this out meeting. of my face right now. I was talking to like not before. I'm this going meeting, to deck you I right now. Her, back and up. It was my idea. A fellow by the name of <laughs> Lapont uh, uh, lives in the town of Colin. Uh, Cohen. Uh, uh, I'd like to buy a vowel. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. It's, uh, can we fit an I in there anywhere? <laughs> Let's recruit him. He is sure to be useful. <laughs> Yay! And we have our own room. Hey, on that note, maybe we should see everybody next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.